I almost blew Kaylee's new bangs off. <laughs> Shit. She blew my bangs off. All right, welcome back to our channel. We got a special treat for you guys today, something a little different. <laughs> so I like to hike and backpack. Kaylee, Doesn't. not so much. So Not a camper. She's not a camper. I'm a camper no, I'm when I don't that. have Sleeping a baby. Sleeping with the bugs and shit. Yeah, she bougie. She like a nice hotel. So anyways, we got some camping food to show you guys. So I've eaten a lot of like mountain house, freeze dried, uh, like ready to eat meals, <coughs> that type of stuff. I don't, have you had anything like mm -hmm. that? Okay, so this is all new to Kaylee. So this is not freeze dried. This is gonna, <laughs> this is a little new to me. It's kind of like a open the, pa open the package, eat it right now type of deal. All right, so first up we got these Bridgeford ready to eat sandwiches. Sweet and sour chicken we chose. Well, okay, this was kind of a surprise. Kaylee didn't know we were gonna try these. I, uh, you know. What a treat. I just surprised her with it. <laughs> so here we are. Okay, so we got these, sweet and sour chicken. And then we got some pepperoni pizza with cheese and sauce. Apparently that doesn't come stock with pizza. They had to, you know, make sure that you knew there was cheese and sauce on it. Okay, so. There's a couple different options. You can literally cut these open and eat them straight from the pouch, or it says you can heat it up a little bit. So we kind of decided that probably heating it up would be a little bit better. So obviously if you're camping, you don't have a microwave or anything like that. So you don't. <laughs> Kaylee tried to put a microwave in the tent. Yeah. So we brought, I got my jet boil. All right, so we're gonna use the jet boil <clears throat> like you would out camping, and we're gonna heat them up, and then we'll see what they taste like. <laughs> Had a little too much gas going on. Good now. Lord. Okay. <laughs> Almost blew Kaylee's new bangs off. <laughs> Shit. She blew my bangs off. Okay, this boils in like 30 seconds. Ooh, it's freaking awesome. Love. Okay, oh all right? Okay. While we're waiting for our water to boil, um, it's there's different instructions on the back here. I'll show you guys what it looks like. So if you decide to get fancy and not eat it raw dog it out <laughs> the package. We decided not to raw dog it out the package. Okay. <laughs> so Boiling water. Okay, it says immerse unopened pouch in boiling water for six minutes. And then tear open the pouch, take the sandwich out and eat it. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. So once this water is boiling, we'll put <clears> the <throat> pouch in there. So we're gonna go ahead and open it. Okay, so it's this little rip thing here. We're gonna take it out. All right, so we got two. Ooh, look at that. Look how nice and delicious that looks. All right, two little brown packages. Okay, so you get two sandwiches and this was $5.99. So that's pretty cheap for like camping food. Uh, Mountain House is like $11.50 for like one meal. So, I mean, I could probably eat both of these for one meal. Some nutrition facts. All right, we got 300 calories per sandwich, 41 carbs, six grams of sugar. And it's good till June 13th of 2026. You got that going for you. <laughs> get several years out of it. Probably not once you open it though. 28% saturated fat, four grams. So it's not like health food by any means, but you know, if you're hiking and stuff. You burn them cows already. Exactly, so good for hiking. We're almost boiling. So I'm gonna take the entire pouch and we're just gonna put it in the water. My pot's not that deep, so I think I might have to like flip it over like halfway through, like three minutes this way and three minutes this way. So some of the ingredients, we have butter flavor, whatever that is, sweet and sour chicken, which is chicken, sugar, vinegar, water, pineapple, glycerol, rice syrup, orange juice, bell pepper, soy sauce, water, wheat, soy, salt, chopped onions, canola oil, modified food starch, salt, spices, and flavorings, molasses, soy lactation, and, soy lactation. Ooh, <laughs> boiling over. and citric acid. Gotta turn, turn it down, turn it down. Contains wheat and soy. Okay, so we got some <clears throat> real ingredients in there. Some chopped onion and yeah, some Yeah, we, we got a few little vegetables in there. orange juice? Yeah, orange juice. And orange juice. Okay. Pineapple. So it's not all fake. The list of ingredients Bell before pepper. the real stuff is... Is uh, a little bit scary. Yeah, sort of intimidating and hard to say. So yeah. probably not the greatest. I'm 
All right, we're gonna take it out. All right, we're gonna turn this oil off. All right, we got it out. So I'm gonna rip it open here. I thought Is it was any hotter than that. Not really. Ooh. It's like warm. Probably because we only did half and half. But it's warm enough. It's but gonna be better than just ripping it open. Yeah. And eating it raw, like Kaylee said. Okay. Raw. Raw dogging it. Let's see what we got here. Ooh. Okay. It smells freaking good. It kind of smells like. Okay. Um, it, it smells, smells like, like one of those little chicken when salad. You walk into kits. the nursing home. Shut no, it does not smell like that. <laughs> Don't be deterred. She's full of shit. <laughs> it smells I would No, it's, I would it, it smells it. pretty it smells good, honestly. For what it is. <clears throat> Alright, let's see what we got here. Do yeah, it do look package? like a little uh hot pocket kind of situation. It does. Kind of like a little toaster strudel situation. I okay. mean she's kinda of cute. She is, it's nice and warm. Alright. Kaylee's gonna cut it we'll in half you. and we're gonna give it a try. You want a diagonal? Oh you man, whatever hold. you wanna do. Also, there's an Let's oxygen absorber. This. Make sure you take that out, don't eat that. Make sure you put the salt packet on here. <laughs> don't do that. Get all the bell peppers oh, and onions. Oh yeah, <laughs> okay. You can see like chicken mm -hmm. and peppers. Yeah. Cheers. I ain't even mad at this. I'm not either. <clears throat> like. If you were outside camping yeah. and you ate this, like I, I wouldn't even be. I would be this. really happy if I just mm -hmm. hiked twelve miles and pooped in the woods and then I made this. <laughs> I would be thrilled, honestly, because it's warm and I don't know, it's pretty good. Yeah, I feel like this is honestly better than some of the crap you get at drive through. <laughs> Literally, it's um, it kind of tastes like barbecue, sort of. Mm -hmm. It says sweet and sour chicken, and you can taste the chicken, but yeah, it's like, I don't know, it tastes like barbecue chicken. Yeah. I would definitely eat this, like. I don't even, I don't even mad about this. No. It's pretty good. For five ninety nine, you get two of them? Yeah. I would probably eat both, but yeah, that's cheap, especially compared to like one Mountain House meal, which I still totally prefer Mountain House. Is like, <laughs> Mountain House is my sad. jam. I'm up. impressed. Yeah, me too. All right, this one's definitely a win. Yeah. So, if you're thinking about these for camping or like boating or fishing, or, yeah, not bad at all. Yeah, not at all. Or just to like have in your vehicle for if you get stuck in the snow. I don't know, maybe look somewhere. Well, you just snow. get hungry. Are you just hungry? <laughs> and then you can bring your little you propane. Just pregnant. <laughs> if you're just pregnant and you hungry, put uh -huh. this in your car. This is good. I would eat this. Bring your little mm. propane tank. Yeah, do it. I don't know how I feel about it room temperature though. Uh, I feel like that would be. I don't know. I mean, I guess, like, if you had to. Yeah, yeah. it would probably be fine, but, like, warm, mm. it's definitely good. Like, I would for sure buy these again. On to the pizza. Time to try the pizza. The pizza. sandwich was a win. I'm excited for the pizza, actually. Yeah. It looks pretty good. I was pleasantly good. surprised. Yeah. I have high hopes for the pizza. Yeah. Was that your? Was that a good experience for your first uh, it was. camping food? Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Bridgeford ready-to-eat pizza. Pepperoni pizza with cheese and sauce. So, we're going to do this the same way we did the other one. We're going to... Put it in uh, the jet boil and heat it up because I think it'll just be better warm. So, all right. Turn up, blow our eyebrows off. Yes. Yeah. All right, so once again, we got two pouches, two pizzas. I think it's just one piece of pizza in there. That's kind of what it feels like. Yeah. Excuse me. She feels um, hearty. Yeah, she it's thick. It's, yeah, it's definitely kind of thick. Some nutrition facts on this one. We got 270 calories per slice. Like one package, so yeah, it's one slice. Um, we got 26% saturated fat, so a little more than the sandwich by the pepperoni. Uh, 33 grams of carbs. Tomato sauce. They got some olive oil, garlic powder. Um, they got some pork beef in the pepperoni. Not the pork beef. We got the pork beef in the pepperoni. And it contains milk and wheat. And okay. a whole lot of other crap. All right. So once again, we got some real ingredients, probably some preservative type stuff. The ingredient list is kind of long. Probably not the most clean eating item you could get, but still. Yeah, I mean, this is all the crap that's in there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's kind of a lot. And what's the expiration date on these ones? <laughs> At June 21st, 2026. Okay. So, so it's got some shelf life on her. 2026. So like two, two and a half years. Yeah. Okay. So I just bought these the other day. So we got like two and a half years from the time you buy them, roughly. At least these ones. I'm gonna go as far up as I did last time because 
we go. Okay, that was a little less. Um, less eventful. Yeah, less Can eventful. Handle. Okay. It usually lights really easy. I don't know what's going on. I think it might be this tank. It's definitely not the jet boil because this thing is, this thing is awesome. Okay, six minutes. Same thing as the sandwich. So we're gonna do three minutes. Flip it over three minutes. And that was like plenty warm. I think. Yeah. I don't think it, it needed fine. to be any warmer. Yeah. So if you have a smaller pot and just do three on each side, you'll be fine. If you have the taller pot, obviously you could submerge it, but you don't have to. It worked out fine. It's only got two grams of sugar. It's healthy. Just kidding, it's really not. But you don't really exactly go for healthy when you're hiking and camping. And, I don't know, just go for calorie content. So really, I guess calorie content wise, wouldn't be that good for hiking because you kind of want more calories than that. Like, you need a pretty hearty meal if you're hiking, like, a lot yeah, of miles. But, and it's only got 10 grams of protein, so... Oh, that's true. It's really... You're probably still going to be hungry. If you're hiking yeah. a lot, you're probably still going to be hungry. But eat, a, eat both of them. That'll help. All right, we're boiling, so we're going to turn it down a little bit. It says on here, three-year shelf life at 80 degrees or below. Must have been on the shelf for a little bit. I got to admit, uh, Bass Pro, so they probably were there for a little bit. But three-year shelf life as compared to like mountain houses like 30 or 40 years or something like that. Yeah. Whoa. They last a long time. Holy crap. Yeah, they're crazy. I think <clears throat> the ones that I have at home are like 2040s. Just, yeah, the expiration date is like 2040s, which is like wow. mind-blowing. Yeah, they are good. If you guys wanna see us try any other camping, hiking, food, let us know. Or any other kind of food for that matter. Let us yeah. know. Let us know what you wanna see. Timer's up. Turn it off here. Okay, it feels like there might be water in it. I don't know. We're gonna open it and see. Ooh, it feels kind of soggy. Gross. That would suck because it's supposed to be sealed. I could be wrong. Let's see. Okay. Okay. All right. Here we go. It looks like pizza. Looks like. It looks like it used to be pizza. <laughs> <laughs> like someone already ate it. Oh my God. Okay. So this is what we see upon opening it. I see feel like it looks like an old taco. <laughs> kind of. It looks like it's been in the fridge for like a while, but it's warm and it smells good. It smells good. Okay, it smells like elementary school <laughs> lunch pizza. Now this be smelling like the nursing home food. A little bit, but like every Monday, you know, if your elementary school had pizza on Mondays, like yeah. mine did, this is what it smells Square like. Square pizza. Square pizza. <clears throat> Okay, once again, don't eat the oxygen absorber. No. Okay. So there's kind of like some chunks of pepperoni. It's not like full pepperonis, but. All right, let's <laughs> chop her in half and see what we got. See what we're working with here. Cheers. Okay, it's not as good as a sandwich. No. Yeah. The sandwich is definitely better. Mm -hmm. It's too doughy. Like yeah, there's like it's like just it's like a piece of bread with sauce and cheese. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of like a piece of bread, or like maybe when you don't cook dough long enough. I don't yeah. know. It doesn't taste like pizza dough. It yeah, it just tastes like bread, like Haley said. Can you see in there. Like it's not horrible. No. If I was like, like camping, like I would still eat it and be like, okay, that was fine. Yeah, but it's not horrible. No, I won't buy this one again though. But it ain't great. Oh, my God, I almost got it. I'll still finish it. Like, it's not going to make me sick or nothing. <laughs> well, to be determined, but it's not gross. Not yet. Uh -uh, not yet. Probably don't get this one. Yeah. The sandwich was pretty good. Yeah, get the sandwich. There's a barbecued beef one, but the chicken one was good. Yep, chicken but was good. Pizza, me. Not so much on the pizza. Yep. If you guys like our channel, subscribe, like this video, let us know what you want to see next. We're always down to try new stuff, even that's if right. it's something that's probably that'll blow our eyebrows off. Nasty. <laughs> you want to see me light that again and take Kaylee's bangs with it? Let me know. Thanks for watching.